Comet. Yes. The celebrations may have been low key, but the result was in scientific terms nothing less than groundbreaking. For the first time ever, a spacecraft has caught up with a comet. Thanks to the European Space Agency, a probe called Rosetta has been traveling our solar system for the last decade. And on Wednesday, it reached its target, a comet several kilometers wide, known as churyumov gerasimenko If you like, today is the beginning of the real science mission, because now we can start actually measuring things, really analyzing this comet, finding out what its history is, uh, where it's been in the solar system, what it's made of. Since blasting off from French Guiana 10 years ago, Rosetta's traveled 6 billion kilometers. But in a way, its journey is just beginning. Between now and the end of 2015, Rosetta will be orbiting the comet and following it as it moves closer to the sun. They're just flying next to each other, with Rosetta being closer to the sun and, uh, and the comet being behind, such that the sun always illuminates more or less the full nucleus of the comet so that we can see it with our navigation camera. This is what we want to do. And we stay 100 kilometers apart. First, hopefully this November, it will deliver a lander to the comet, carrying a drill to take samples from under the surface. What we are looking for there is evidence for pristine material out of which the solar system was formed. So this is material that hasn't been contaminated and it is hitting, is, 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 is hiding there inside the nucleus of the comet. We know today that the, our Earth has a great deal of water on it. We don't know exactly where it came from and it's likely that comets had a lot to do with that process. Images taken from Rosetta have already shown the comet in some detail. But scientists hope it could soon give us a good idea of what our own planet looked like at the birth of the solar system. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.